So it's been about two months since I did a favorites video, so I thought I would finally do one. It's been a coup in it. So I've been loving these Fix Pluses. Um, if you guys had a chance to get a hold of any of the scented ones, the limited edition ones, God bless you. So sorry. Hashtag sorry not sorry <laughs> to those of you who couldn't get them. I have to be honest. These y'all knew these were gonna sell out. Like don't get don't don't get like that and act like you know they were gonna last on the shelves forever. You know everybody dies for fixed plus. Let's just be real. Um, my first my first and foremost favorite is gonna be the rose. I have all of them, every single one. I have doubles of some of them. So I do have backups of quite a few of them. I love these to death. I have every single scent now, including the original. Um, I love fixed plus. I die for for it. Um, it's the best thing on earth. Sorry about it. I also really enjoy the charged water. Some people compare this to the Smashbox primer water. Just so y'all know, Smashbox and MAC were all umbrellaed under Estee Lauder, so a lot of the products are going to be very, very similar. Um, this one came out first, and it's a, it's very, very similar to the primer water, and it can be used just like it. Is there a huge difference? I'm going to be honest and say no because I even use Fix Plus as a primer, in which case this can be used for it as well. Um, I would say the charged water is meant to be an actual like hydrating mist for the skin. So what it's actually meant for is for someone who really has extremely dehydrated skin or even dry skin. Um, and this just sort of helps, you know, plump it up, give it a really beautiful glow. It hydrates it, and it does work as, um, you know, a primer and a finishing spray. It's not the same as Fix Plus. It's a little bit different. If you guys want a whole other video on that, let me know. Um, but I've been loving the charged water as a toner. Love it. Love it, love it. It's been really giving my skin a really beautiful a finish when I mix it with um, my moisturizer. Love. One more spray that I've been loving is actually the L'Oreal Infallible. I don't know why I didn't mention this last month because I'm almost out of it. And I've actually been using it for one, two, three, almost four months now. Almost four months now, almost out of it. You can tell that I love this stuff. I really, really enjoy this stuff. Um, L'Oreal did well on this. It's about 13 bucks, I think. Anywhere from 11 to 13.99, something like that. Um, I tried to coupon on it because I'm not paying that much for it because I can get Fix Plus for significantly cheaper. Um, I have a thing for buying drugstore stuff at full price, so I definitely um, got this when it was like buy one get one fifty percent off, I believe. Yeah, and then I coupon on it or whatever. Um, I really enjoy this spray. This is I have to be honest. I think I like this better than Urban Decay's All Nighter spray. Like literally, my face did not move. Like I had a full face of makeup. I was at an industry event for MAC where I was like in the sun, I was like dying in the heat, sweat beating on my face. No joke, I went back in store and the only difference was that I just looked a little more glowy. Like everybody was like, oh my god, your makeup is still on? And I was like, I guess so. <laughs> and you know, to be honest, I even told them what it was. I was like, damn, it's not MAC, but you know, it is what it is. And I gotta be honest, like MAC needs to make one of these because this is the bomb. This product is like half skincare, half um makeup I guess you could say because I kind of use this more as a primer but it is also a treatment so depending on however you use it you can use it as part of your skincare routine or as your makeup primer whatever you like I love this stuff this is the mineralized um, time check lotion I may or may not have mentioned this before I'm trying to remember if I did but if I didn't my bad because I've been loving this stuff since the day it came out and we were sold out I think we're still sold out of this stuff it's amazing like I'm gonna do a whole separate video on this so just hang on for that um, but I just definitely wanted to give it a mention because I love 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 this stuff like it's so good so good the best thing that I like about it is literally how it makes my skin look and the improvement that it's actually giving my skin. Like, no joke, the pores in this section, because this is really where I use it the most. I smooth this area down my T-zone a little bit up there and then all down here. And my makeup, no matter what foundation I'm using, just, just glides like butter, baby. Like, it's so good. Um, and another thing that I love about it is just like literally the skincare benefits it's given my skin. My, my skin is like plumper um, and it's a little bit um, not tighter per se, but you know what I mean? Like the, I can feel like the collagen bounce back. It's amazing. Um, and then the pores have even shrunk and even fine lines, wrinkles and stuff like that have even dissipated. Not that I had a whole ton of them. Like I'm looking in the mirror now, like I didn't really have a whole ton, but it was enough for me to get crazy about it and be like, oh, hell no. Time to prevent this. Another skincare product that I went back to, I love this stuff, I'm almost done with it. Again, this is my second bottle, this is the Clarins Double Serum. I had hordes of gratis of this stuff, you know, when I left from Sephora. I love this serum, it's one of the best serums I've ever tried. My skin loves this stuff. If you are into a very supple, 
glowy type of skin that just looks younger like you are gonna love this stuff it literally is but this serum is everything it's so good it's expensive as shit but it's worth every penny I guess this is also skincare slash makeup. This is the um, Lightful C Tinted Cream from MAC. I did a video on this. I will link it down below. I love this stuff. It's like my everyday favorite type of product right now. It's amazing. Um, I use the shade Medium Deep. I'm not going to talk too much about it, but I want to mention it, obviously, because I love this stuff. I want you to go ahead and watch the video if you want to learn any more about it, but I really, really enjoy this stuff. It's amazing. It's one of the best, best... CC color correcting BB type cream type of thing that I've used in a very long time. Um, you guys know that I really love the Ula Hendrickson one. Um, I did like the Smashbox one for a while. Um, and I love the NARS tinted moisturizer. I love my Sonia Kashuk tinted moisturizer. Um, but this one, oof, this is a jam. Like it's so good. Another foundation I've been loving is the Pro Longwear Foundation from MAC. I'm in NC42. It's like almost perfect. I'm a little tan right now, so I got to kind of like really, really warm it up at the moment. But otherwise, awesome stuff. I love this stuff. We'll be doing a video on it. I love the way it wears. It literally does not move. And because of that, though, I have to be honest, you got to do a little bit of a cleansing process to get it off to make sure it's all gone. Um, you got to do like a makeup wipe, some cleanse off oil, some cleanser, and then tone it out. Um, but it is amazing like it looks so beautiful on the skin it's so smooth and it's so um perfect like I don't know what it is about it but it just looks so good the only thing is that I can't wear it too many days in a row so I gotta pick and choose my days when I want to wear this stuff and usually it's on a weekend when I have like a crazy day so again like that day that I went to a Mac industry event it was like beating sweat I was like oh my god and this was what I was using did not move oh my god best foundation I've tried in a long time. Um, it is a two-in-one sort of hybrid type of product where it's a concealer and foundation. It's amazing for humid um, places or like if you're going on vacay or something like that because you can shear it out with something or wear it very full coverage as it is. It's a very full bodied foundation. Um, it looks super smooth on the skin. Like I don't, oh my god, I just can't. It's so good. Uh, favorite lash combinations of the moment. Um, right now I've been loving Double Stack 35s. I stagger them together and I sort of fan them out. Um, this is what Double Stack 35s look like. I love them. And they're from MAC, obviously. <laughs> um, I've also been liking 48s and 35s, which obviously they're not stacked at the moment, but these are what 48s look like. And then I stack a pair of 40, uh, 35s on them life. If you like really lush, heavy, full-blown, like lash on lash on lash, like these are going to be some really amazing combinations for you. Um, sometimes I just get very bored of what I'm doing and you know sometimes I just want to try a whole new lash. Um, so I think I'm going to do a video on my favorite lash combinations because a lot of people have been asking me about that lately. Um, I get a lot of questions at work when people see um, you know the, the lashes that I'm wearing like on the weekend when I go like full-blown glam out and I went to industry this past you know couple of weeks and a lot of people were complimenting complimenting my lash combinations and yeah those are my two favorites so um, I'll definitely probably do a video yeah no I'm gonna do a video on my favorite lash combinations so that you can see what they actually look like like on my eyeballs um, but yeah hopefully if you guys find that helpful because a lot of people have been asking me about that I don't know you tell me <laughs> so let's move on to some lip stuff um, I've been loving loving the MAC Vamplify lip glosses. These are life, y'all. Like, if you haven't gotten your hands on this, you are hella tardy to the party. Like, you need to get on it, like, right now, right now, because a lot of them are, like, sold out. My favorite color out of the whole entire line is Hyper Fabulous. Um, this one, which is called What's Going On, and She Rebel. You guys know which one that is. That one's the darkest one. The blue violet one. That's the jam. I posted a picture on my Instagram about it. Um, so there's like my picks or whatever. Um, which colors that I personally picked up. And then also to um, just swatches of like the whole entire line. If you find that helpful. Some people do. Some other lip colors that I've been really loving are these matte uh, lip glosses from um, LA Girl. I really love these. Liquid lipsticks sometimes do not work for me. I love... The concept of them and I love how they look but sometimes they just dry the shit out of your lips and you're just like oh my god I feel like a 119 year old lady it's like it's not okay you know so sometimes like if you're like me where your lips like easily peel you get real dry no matter what you do sometimes liquid lipsticks are just they're just they're just not it like they just they just don't work um so these surprisingly for me are not drying at all I love these these are the only colors that I own I, I kind of want to pick up more but I just don't need that many colors in them I guess 
Um, the, this one is the red one and I think it's called Secret. And this one is supposedly a dupe for a Lime Crime one. I think, I can't remember what the name is, but a friend of mine told me it was a dupe for that. So, yay. Um, I also have Dreamy, which is like a nude. Of course, y'all know I had to get the purple. And this one's called Stunner. Duh. And then this one is a really beautiful, um, like sort of fall kind of berry shade. And this one's called Rebel. So these are the four that I own. I feel like I have one more, and if I do, I have no idea where it is. I really, really love those. They're not drying. They wear really well. They're super pigmented. Every time I wear them, I get a compliment on them, or I, I'm asked, like, hey, what are you wearing on your lips? Dude, that looks hella clean. Um, these I do not like, so this is definitely a gripe. These are the LA Splash uh, Lip Couture Liquid Lipsticks. Okay, don't kill me. I really love the colors. The color concepts, you know, I, there's really... Some amazing, like, very vampy, very bold, very, you know, natural colors, too. Like, there's all kinds of colors. Um, I was really after this color called Ghoulish, which is this sort of, like, cashmere type of color. And I love the color. Like, it's amazing. I love it. But it is so dry on your mother effing lips. I swear to God, it feels like you got paper mache on them. Like, it's not okay. Um, I just, I couldn't. Um, I also picked up Spellbound, and I have to be honest, like, a part of me even kind of regrets buying these because just the texture is just not, oh, I can't, like, and I love this color. It's so pretty. Um, so this one is Spellbound. Y'all know how I feel about them browns. And then this one is, um, Ghoulish. And I love them. Like, I love how they look. I love how they appear. But within an hour, I'm like, ah, ah, ah. Like, it's just, they don't wear very well on me. They don't do well for me. But they look so, so pretty, and I love them. But God, good Lord, help me. Um, unlike the LA Girl ones, or even, like, some of the other liquid lipsticks, like the Kat Von D ones, like, when you reapply those, they don't look bad, you know what I mean? Like, they even wear amazing. Like, you think they're coming off, like, two, three hours later, four hours later even, and then you take a look at them, and they're actually still kind of there, and you're like, oh... It's still there. But this one, you look at it and it's like cracking all up in here. I was like, oh man, nah, nah. of course y'all know I gotta mention my girl Jacqueline Hill. <laughs> Cause I love champagne pop. Like I love me some champagne pop. Highlight on fleek though. Um, y'all already know I love me some highlight. I love me some JLo glow. This is the bomb. It really is essentially opal and moonstone mixed because she's the one who came up with that wonderful, beautiful combination from my understanding. Don't kill me. I think she's the one who came up with that, and that's almost, I feel, I feel like, what inspired her to come up with Champagne Pop. If you guys haven't seen it, what the hell, really? I mean, it's amazing. Like, it's so, so good. Um, I love the um, highlighters for MAC. I love every single one of the highlighters for MAC. The In Extreme Dimension ones, those are the jam, Whisper of Guilt, y'all know, that's the one. Um, but... These were amazing, and I, I had Opal at some point, and I do have Blush Copper. I was going to pick up Moonstone because I wanted to mix Opal and Moonstone, and then Homegirl came out with Champagne Pop, and I was like, oh, I don't need it no more. And then ironically enough, when I bought this one, I lost Opal. Well, I don't know what happened to it. I took it on a gig. It went missing. I was pissed because that shit's expensive. Um, it's not it's not cheap. They're, these are like 32 bucks. Um, It's one of the most expensive highlighters I own, but I think it's about the same price as the MAC ones because the MAC ones are 32 and I feel like these are like 32, 35, something like that. So expensive, but so good. The texture on these, so good. Y'all hella target to the party if y'all didn't come up with it and if you didn't get it and still can't get it, then you might have to buy $70 worth of highlighters to create the same color. Good luck. Okay, so non-makeup related product is this hair product right here, and this is the um, Silicon Mix Bamboo. I love Silicon Mix, don't get me wrong. Like, those of you who have, like, ethnic hair, I guess you could say, or, like, really, really curly hair that's, like, super frizzed out, because I don't, I don't know if y'all can even tell, but my hair is, like, always frizzed out no matter what I do. Um, it's, like, I gotta, like, put hella product in to, like, smooth it out. Um, I wanted to try the bamboo version because I had bought it for uh, Mr. Mahal and he loved it. It worked for his hair. It did not work for me. I don't know what it is. I might give it to him because it did not work for me. Um, the regular silicone mix works better for me personally. I don't know what it is about it, but I tried. I'm just trying to try all the other ones because I own all the other ones. There's like a diamond or a pearl one, not a diamond one, a pearl one, this one, and then there's like a reconstructive type, and then the original. And I think I'm just gonna go back to the original because that's the one that worked the best for me. But this stuff, I don't know if it's just over protoning, protonating, whatever. I don't know if it's just over protonating my hair or what. But every single time I use it, I'm like, oh my god, like the texture of my hair is just horrible. I just can't. I can't deal. Um, I thought I would really, really like it, but I think. I mean, it's supposed to be for brittle and dull hair, which is what I had. 
You know what I'm saying? Like my hair was like hella dead before I chopped it all off. Um, but it's just not working for me. I don't know. I have quite a lot of it left. I kept trying to give it a try. And a friend of mine um, who does hair, she was like, you know, I think it's just like literally over protonating your hair. And I was like, that's possible. She's like, how often do you use it? And I was like, once a week. Like I'm not even using it like every single day, you know, or I use it whenever I do my purple shampoo, which is yeah, like once a week. I don't know, whatever. It just, it doesn't work. I don't like it. I have to give it away. I don't know. I'm not a fan. Hopefully it works for somebody else because it didn't work for me. Non-makeup related thing. This is like a lifestyle thing. I've been really enjoying Zumba. Um, I need to get a new one because I'm so bored of this one. Um, I know that there's a lot, a lot of different ones and I really just want to go to a class, you know, like a local class. There used to be one around me, but now the nearest one I think is like Concord or something. It's like 20 something minutes away and that's how much of a Zumba workout I can get in. Like sometimes I don't have time to like go to a gym. I don't even have a gym membership anymore, but like I just, I need at home workouts because it's like the most um, convenient for me at the moment. Moment. so I need workouts that I can do at home and I really have been enjoying Zumba like it's been kind of amazing I don't know I really like it I like to dance what are you gonna do sorry this is sort of makeup related and I didn't mention it um this is my makeup case from Mac um, this is what I use when I travel, if you will. So this is like all the stuff that I have in it. I might do a what's in my makeup travel bag because some, some people do that, I guess, and some people actually want to know. Um, but what I like about this is it does obviously have a mirror. It has like a lot of compartments like on the side, on the front, over here. I used to use this for my kit, you know, and I, I loved it because it just carried like a couple extra things that didn't fit in my actual like train case or rolly thing, whatever. Um, but this is what I take when I go to the man's house. So whenever I go to the man's house and I spend the night over there, Sometimes I gotta like, you know, work the night, the night, eh. Sometimes I gotta work the morning after. Wow, okay. <laughs> so the next day, obviously, I gotta go to work, so I gotta keep all my makeup with me, you know what I'm saying? And you know, as a Mac girl, you gotta be on point, like all the time. So, but I've been loving this case. It's so durable. I can literally like kick it, not that I kick it around, but you know, I could kick it around. Like I've had it for a very long time. I would say almost a year now. And I've it's still in such good condition and I've used it so much already. And it's so easy to clean. Um, it doesn't really, I mean, it gets dirty, but it's not like super impossible to clean. Some of my makeup bags have gotten so dirty that I just gotta toss them out and get rid of them. That one's lasted. Really enjoy it. Okay. So as you guys know, I've been on this little fitness kick, right? So I've been really loving the Fit Girls Guide. Um, I don't know if I can bring it up on my ebooks, but let's see. Let's see if I can, oh, iBooks, sorry. Still getting used to iPhone. So this is a Fit Girls Guide. Me and it's a very, it's like, I think like a $25 purchase. I can't remember how much I paid for it. Um, I think I got it when there was like a discount or something. But it's a 28 day jump start into getting um, back into like a better routine for yourself. And it has like amazing recipes in there for a lot of food. I love it. I might do a whole nother like video talking about it because I really enjoyed it. It only took a month and that month like, phew flew by it was so fast um i really enjoyed doing that fit girls guide um there's really great like workouts just to kind of get it literally is like a jump start like it jump starts you into getting more active into like just doing better for yourself it's not just like oh this is what you're gonna eat and this is how you're gonna work out like it's more than that it's very encouraging and i feel like um it really is like an actual like guidebook and i love it um i kind of wanted to print it out and have it um but i love that i have it electronically both on my computer and on my phone um it's really easily accessible. I really, really love, really, really love that thing. Like, I might do a whole separate video on it because I liked it that much that I think you guys should really, really try it. Um, there's another one after it called, like, the Fit Kini Challenge or something like that. And I might do that one too, but I think now I'm in, like, a better routine for myself. I'm just really trying to take care of myself. You know, I'm in my 30s now. You know, I'm about to be 31 this year. Oh, God. Um, and I feel like my body is really changing. And I feel like, you know... I'm growing up, you know what I mean? Like, I gotta be more active for myself. I wanna start having kids soon. I wanna get my body, like, on point. You know what I mean? It's not even about, like, getting skinny or anything like that, but it's me getting healthier for myself, you know what I mean? Making better choices in life all, all you know, all over and things like that. Another thing I wanted to mention was overnight oats. I've been really, really loving this. So while we're on the subject of talking about me taking care of myself, um, I really, really love overnight oats. I've been obsessed. This one specifically is a um, blueberry pie one that I made, and you guys can see the layers. You do mix it up, obviously. You don't eat it like this. You can if you want, but it tastes better when you mix it up. So on the bottom, you've got your um, old-fashioned oats. There's like almond milk, a layer of chia seeds. There's some honey in there. or It's agave, actually. You can do honey if you want. Um, almond butter, Greek yogurt, and then some frozen blueberries. And oh my god, let me just tell you, you mix this, oh, it's so good. 
it's amazing. I do have a gratitude journal. This is something I picked up about a month or so ago. It has Liz Taylor's quote on it that says, pour yourself a drink, put on some lipstick, and get yourself together. And I really, really love that. Um, I have my cute little cupcake clip in there. I think total days I have in here is about 54 now. 54 as of today, I think. 53, 54, something like that. Um, the day that I started it was July 13th. Um, and just to kind of show you, I just put it on there, gratitude, and then I put the definition of it. Noun, the quality of being thankful, readiness to show appreciation for and to return kindness, and emotion expressing appreciation for what one has. This is something that just daily reminds me of things to be grateful for. You know, if you guys have kept up with my channel, you guys know that I've been through a lot in the past year and a half couple years actually you know my mom was hospitalized my dad passed away my mom was hospitalized again and you know there's a lot going on in my life um, but I also have a lot to be thankful for you know I feel like I have to focus on the positive and this is a way of reminding myself every single day so like every single night um, I write something in here that either I accomplished that day or something that I'm thankful for or grateful for um, I feel like people need to do that more, you know, like you got to generate good things for yourself. And I feel like um, ever since I did this, so many more positive things have been helping, you know, have been happening in my life. Um, and I, I'm grateful for that too. <laughs> so this is something that just reminds me of where I am in life right now and, you know, where I am mentally, emotionally, where my heart is, you know what I mean, and what I think about on a daily basis. You know, I've looked back on some of the things, you know, that I've seen and, you know, one of my first entries was, you know, today I worked out for the first time in ages. And that's something that I'm super proud of, you know. There's even something I wrote in here. <laughs> a lot of the times I write in here, I love my job. I always write that. Um, I write a lot about me and Mr. Mahal's relationship. Um, something simple as like spending time with my family. Um, even things like, you know, hashtag nighttime yoga. It's been giving me like the best sleep ever. You know, it just reminds me of all the wonderful things that I have going on in my life. You know what I mean? And while we're on the subject of that, I wanted to definitely, this is something I'm so, 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 so proud of. You don't even know. So working for the company I work for, I think it's pretty obvious where I work. I'm not even like really, you know, it's pretty obvious where I work, right? And I have to be completely honest, this company has opened so many doors for me. I'm so happy to be working for this company. I have had a million opportunities and I've grown so much in a short seven months, seven, eight months being with this company. Um, one of the best opportunities that I had was to do the Raiderite photo shoot for their calendar. Um, and this is a signed calendar that I have from the girls. Um, all the girls who did, who I did makeup for, um, or have met, um, is what signed. And I did quite a few of them, I have to be honest. Um, so I actually, I feel, I, when I look at it, when I realize, like, after all the girls had signed it, I've done at least, like, half the calendar. Um, like, this is one, her name is Marcy. She's a veteran. I think she's been with the Raiderettes for about five years now. Um, I was so proud to do her makeup, and her shoot came out so good. Her makeup came out amazing. Like, brows on flake. Hello. And doing black and white is not easy, let me just say. I just wanted to put that out there. Um, this one is Morgan. I also did her. Sorry, that sounds so bad. I did her. <laughs> this one is Morgan. This one is... This one is Leilani. Um... My coworker did her makeup, but I touched it up. So when my coworker had left for the day, I had stayed for touch up. So I was touching up a lot of it, making some of it darker and stuff like that. This one, oh my God, I love Wendy. She's amazing. Um, she's also a veteran. I love her to death. She got a full spread. Um, so just to kind of give you guys an idea, like a lot of my girls get got full spreads. Um, I was really proud of that. Um, especially this, oh my god, oh my god, ha, <laughs> Krishinda, she's beautiful, oh my god, she's like, like, she, she usually, all she wanted, she was like, give me a glow, girl, and I was like, hell yeah, girl, I got you, so, literally glowing like J-Lo right there, and this one, this one I was really, this one was pretty cool, because, uh, both of my girls got, um, a full spread together, which I thought was pretty dope, sorry, booty in the face, right, <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I was just really, I'm really proud of this, you know, I, when I flipped through it, and I realized how many girls had signed it for me I didn't realize that I did practically like half the calendar and I was like oh my god um the total shoot was like three days worth and I was there for two out of the three days so I had the opportunity to do quite a few of the girls and I stayed for touch-ups on both days so I had the chance of also like kind of you know altering some of the makeup just because you know some of it wasn't showing up or whatever um this is something I'm so so proud of I this I like to see my work at the release party in the reveal when they like took down all of like you know the blankets on the pictures and the canvas and stuff like it was like blown up on canvas it was so 
beautiful like I was so happy about it the girls were so happy when I saw them again you know it's nice that they remember me they're like oh my god she did my makeup you know what I mean and I'm a Raider fan I know we suck okay I, I know but I love the Raiderettes <laughs> and because I'm a Raider fan this was like huge for me you know my brother's a Raider fan my dad's a Raider fan you know and this just it meant so much to me you know what I mean I don't know I, I just I can't say enough about it um, it opened so many doors for me I met so many people um, it just it I made so many connections and networked and everything and this was just such an amazing opportunity like I can't wait to do it again um, for those of you who don't know Matt Cosmetics sponsors the Raiderettes um, so I was I had the luxury of doing a seminar with my senior artist Victor at my store and I was I had the pleasure of being there for it and then was invited to do the calendar photo shoot um, so I wasn't able to talk about it because technically I had to wait for the release and all of that so that's why I never mentioned it until now because it was officially released on Sunday so I'm so proud of this I can't talk about it enough this is probably one of my biggest accomplishments in my makeup career and I know that sounds really mediocre but it just means a lot to me. It just shows me where I'm at. Like, I can do some damn good makeup. <laughs> like, I'm really proud of myself. You know what I mean? It's one of those things. You know, on some level, every makeup artist, you know, every, every anyone in, in general, like, in your career, you just have that one defining moment that, like, really tells you, I'm freaking good at this. Like, you know, you're really proud of yourself. You know what I mean? And that was that moment for me. Um, I've, I've done a lot of things with this company. You know, I'm on the impact team, which is like best of the best North region, you know, Northwest region artists. You know, I'm part of that team and I love doing that. It gets so much fun. Um, I might do a whole video on this because a lot of you guys have been asking me about what my experience has been like or how to get with the company. I've been kind of thinking about it if it's something I should do or not do. I don't know. You guys let me know. For those of you who are aspiring artists, you let me know if that would be helpful. But yeah, that's pretty much it for my favorites this month, favorites, hype gripes. There's only two gripes I have. Most of it is stuff that I love. Um, I hope you guys found this video helpful as always, and hopefully it wasn't deathly long like it usually is. Um, but yeah, I'll talk to you guys soon, and thank you guys for watching. Bye!